Hello everybody. Red Game Master here once again. We are back in Terraria. And the Goblin Army is already here. Oh crud. Okay. Uh gun out. Just start shooting. Okay, this is going to be crazy for a little while. Um, I might end up cutting this if nothing interesting happens. Well, not cutting. I'll, I'll do the fast-forwarding thing like usual. So honestly, there probably isn't going to be much that you guys will find interesting to see. Now, I'll be honest, since the last time I played, it had... Well, okay, not since the last time I played for this, but... Before I started making this series, it, sac it, was, it had actually been quite a while since I played. Uh, and that last time there... Ooh, damn. There wasn't that progress bar at the bottom. It was just however many is however many. So that's interesting. There we go. You get a lot of spiky balls. So just to go over what happened last time, um, we went to the right and found, oh, that fishing guy up there. Tim, right here, Billy. Uh, let's see. Also, there was the goblin army that we found out was approaching right as we got back home. And, oh wow, I don't think that was much. Um, as far as for what I'm planning for today, obviously we're going to be taking care of this goblin army. And then I think we will... And I think we might, uh, take a look around and see if we can find a floating island. As the floating islands, uh, we're going to need some stuff from them. Hey, stay away from my... Stay away from my guy. his name? Stay away from Darius. He's nice. There we go. Hey, you guys broke my door. Thank you. I have to remember to keep an eye on my health. Ow! I'd also like to try and find some Hermes boots, and we definitely need to get a grappling hook. I found out a little bit more about grappling hooks. Uh, for one thing, uh, we can actually get them from the undead Vikings. It's just that, and it's just like we could from any other skeleton, it's just that they have... The drop rate is very low. It's like 4%. So our chances of actually finding one would be rather small. But that's what we'll need to do. But also, as you guys are probably seeing, the uh, the druid is giving us a boost here. Power of nature protects you. I don't remember exactly what that does for us. Oh, yeah, I just remembered some of the other stuff we did last time. Uh, we fought two Eye of Cthulhu's and got ourselves some new equipment. Something else I'm, de I'm definitely going to want to take a look at is um, getting us the rest of the armor. Because right now we only have the chest plate. Uh, we're, we're still missing a... Still missing pants and boots. Pants are needed. Alright, Goblin Army has been defeated. That also means that the Goblin Tinker is going to be somewhere in the world. Watch out, Darius! Coming from behind. I came from behind. Uh-uh. You guys don't get a run. You guys came here and attacked us. Whew. Okay, well... 
sounds and looks like it's done. So that uh, is nice. Let's go and collect our loot that's scattered around the place and fix this door. Got a fair bit of money. Not much else. I could have swore there was more stuff that you could get from a, a goblin army approaching. Guess we just didn't have the stuff. I'm not gonna need those. Okay. Oh! Oh! We have a hook! Yes, 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 yes! Where are my chains? Where are my chains at? It's just a basic one, but it's a grappling hook. You know, if I remember correctly, it's E. There we go. Just a basic grappling hook, but still pretty darn useful. Especially since this game uses, I don't remember the exact term, but it's basically like it uses a cause and effect style of uh, physics. Basically meaning that if you're falling from a really high height and you grappling hook the ground, uh, you can save yourself. If it was a, if it was real physics, that wouldn't work. Banishes the. What the heck does that? Oh, that's just a. Okay. Uh, okay. Be right back in a sec, guys. Gonna do a little bit of sorting here. And then we'll get to what we're doing today. Alright, guys. So, I was just thinking, because I, I want to go and grab some meteor stuff. And if we're going to do that, I'm going to need an obsidian skull. Which means I'm going to have to head down here to the lava to get some obsidian. So, that will be the first first objective for today is to get me an obsidian skull to use. So, unless something interesting happens, I'll be back when I'm down there. Talk to you then. Just saw this big guy over here. Well, actually, I saw his headlamp. What do you say we go on over and say hi? See what's going on, huh? see what we got in here. The snowball cannon. Gravitation potion. That will be really helpful later on. Alright, let's just grab that. And grab all this. Alright, and once again, I'll be back if something interesting happens or if we get to our destination. And once again, something interesting has happened. We found our goblin. No. Hello. Thank you for freeing me, human. I was tied up and left here by the other goblins. You could say they you could say that we didn't get along well. One thing that's really useful for him is that he can reforge. Basically, it's like see right now I have a superior bloodlust cluster. If I place it in there for a certain amount, which is this uh, 74 silver? I can reforge it and have a chance of getting ink and have a chance of getting something else. But his two main things are rocket boots and the Tinker's Workshop. Rocket boots because rocket boots. And Tinker's Workshop because Tinker's Workshop allows you to combine other accessories together. Ooh, that almost ended up.
All right. So we found him, and I think that actually means we'll have to make a house for him because um, I don't think we have. Wow, we got a lot of stuff going on today, don't we, guys? D I severely doubt we're going to be able to get it all done in this in this little amount of time in the bit of time that we have today. Uh, okay, so. I'm going to keep heading down and see you guys when I get some molten hot magma. Alright guys, we are back and we are back here in the uh, underground mushroom biome. We're down here because it is, because it has a huge amount of lava because of how deep it is and because, uh, and partly because of our previous flooding, this place also has a lot of water in it which allows us to get obsidian which in turn will allow us to get an obsidian skull which will protect us which will keep us from being lit on fire by fire blocks or in the case that we're doing it for right now a uh, a meteor But yes, that is the reason why we are doing this. So we can get our hands on a meteor. Because although this armor is more powerful than meteor armor, it does have a f it does there are a few items for it that are better. Of which you will see when when I get enough and we have a chance to actually see it. Let me see. So that's 21. Let's get up to 30 and then we will get out of here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. There we go. And a recall potion. And yeah, see, this is what I mean. All of our houses are currently taken, so. Unfortunately, our goblin tinkerer doesn't have any place to stay right now. Uh, see? Every house is taken. Still, though, shouldn't be too bad. I'll just make another room right off of that. Make it right off of here and make it nice and quick. Um, first off, and I'm going to set my spawn point. We are going to place down the tinkerer's bench. And I need to figure out what I am going to put these rocket boots. Oh, I'll replace them with that. It's just a shackle. One defense is going to do too much, and it actually gives us an extra melee speed. So, demonstration. There's our normal one, and there's the rocket boots. Cool? Cool. Okay. Um, do do do. All of our crafting stuff is up here, so. Ah, there it is. Obsidian skull. And we got a warding, which gives us four defense. That's nice. Eh, I don't need that panic necklace, so let's replace that as well. So now we gain, we actually have more defense than when we started. And we're immune to fire. Very nice. Okay, so once again, I'm going to do some sorting for my inventory here. And I will get back to you guys. Uh, also, guys, something else I, something I wanted to point out, because I didn't notice I actually had in my inventory before, is we got a Viking helmet. Right now, our iron helmet only gives us two. And since we're not getting any equipment bonuses, let's go with our Viking helmet. <laughs> That's kind of cool again. Fusro da. I know that's not right, but whatever. Felt like doing something slightly nerdy. Don't. Just give me a break, man. Alright. Well, uh, our trip last time told us that there wasn't a meteor... Oh, she just grew. Told us there wasn't a meteor to the east. So our next path is to go to the west and find a meteor. So... 
I'll see you guys when I get back there. Okay, I just noticed that Felicity is apparently throwing a part. What? Everyone's wearing party hats. Hi, Felicity. Everyone's wearing party hats. I thought I would throw a party to celebrate our victories in the past, and those yet to, and yet those yet to be had. Oh, that's nice. Uh. Just the sacrifice. I mean, covenant fishing master. I'm looking for. Um. Did you guys see those rabbits? Even the rabbits are wearing party hats. This is adorable. You got anything special? No, you're not selling anything special. Anyone selling anything special? Doesn't look like it. Nope. This is honestly the first time I've seen that. No, I will not tell you how many candles are on my cake. Huh. That's an interesting little thing. She's... No, she's not selling anything new. Alright, well that was a nice little diversion, even if it did take us away from what we were doing. Hope you guys all have fun. Sorry the goblin dude ain't here, but I'm not in the mood to... Well, okay. I'm making my house now. This will be really quick, guys. Like I said, I'm just going to add on to this. I'm just going to add it in right there. I never noticed, but doesn't the nurse look like she... Ha doesn't Emma look like the nurse look like she has a ponytail? That would be interesting. To me, at least. Alright guys, so that's the room built. Hopefully it'll be our tinkerer buddy that goes in there. Let's just, in fact, let's go here. What? Oh, because the other one. Okay, so then. Oh, house is missing a table. Duh. Um, you know what? Here, we will remove the bed. Oh yeah, this doesn't. This one doesn't need a table because it has the tinkering. I mean the workbench. Uh, I keep forgetting that kind of stuff. Okay, that can go there. That can go there. And we'll put our bed up here. There, spawn point set. Okay, sorry about that. And to do And our goblin tinker can stay right in there. And also, while all that was going on, as you guys may or may not have noticed, traveling merchant Bohem uh, Bohemius has stopped by and he's wearing a party hat too. Many say that parties give you the richest memories. So buy something and make this memory rich. Well, let's see what you got. Anything nice? Oh, <laughs> that's I don't even have one platinum. Okay. Um I 
I'm gonna buy that either way. Um, this goes there, right? Yeah. Yeah, obviously I'm not gonna replace that, but I'll put it so that I have, I'm wearing a gi otherwise. And I'm gonna need this DPS meter for later. There's a, a thing later on that it's literally the largest, the longest uh, set of crafting recipes in the entire game. And I will be needing that. So. I'd rather get it now than have to wait for him to show up sometime later. Alright, so that is our Goblin Tinkerer and everyone in. Let's deposit our monies. And head back towards where the meteor will hopefully be. So I guess I'll be seeing you guys then. Bye. Oh, hey guys, I found Pinky again. Wow, even all the way out here, the rabbits are still wearing bunny hats. I mean, the rabbits are still wearing party hats. So that's a fair bit of money for us. Alright. Gonna keep on heading up. Haven't found anything yet, otherwise you guys would have seen me sooner. Uh, Alright guys, we finally found our meteor. And normally this stuff would be lighting me ablaze right now. Sorry, my mouse just acted up. <sighs> Come on, mouse, don't be doing this to me again. Now, the main th problems are these uh, meteor head dudes, but we have a little... But we have our little friend here to help protect us, so that'll be nice. They're probably going to come way too fast for him, but we should. But he should be able to take out most of them. Party time's over. They partied all day. Alright. Ah, oh, I forgot sand. Alright, well, I'm just going to mine this up for a while. That way I can ensure that we've got plenty. See you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, well I think we got enough of that, so that's that's good for us. Alright. Let's make these meteorite bars. Now here's what I wanted to show you. For instance, chest plate six, chest plate seven. So it's not actually any better. But let's see damage sixteen damage 19 and but this uses mana instead the advantage to having the full meteor set is that this gun no longer uses any mana plus something that else you can do with it if we just ask our crafting buddy here Ooh, lightsabers technically face sabers but lightsabers more than that but we don't have enough gems and actually 21 22 and that doesn't have any damage bonuses so fast speed fast speed average knockback very weak knockback so yes yeah, see there isn't much really to do with it drill containment unit seriously oh that's that's a that's an end game thing and a meteor staff. Once again, hard mode. 
one advantage to it though is that it does allow me to turn normal musket balls into meteor shot at an anvil. So let's make. So okay. So see, the meteor shot has nine. Normal musket balls have seven. So it's a fair bit, and you get seventy for one bar. So it actually comes out to being pretty darn good. This will boost our damage a little bit, and actually, I'm going to go. Buy another 999 musket balls. And sell him all that. And turn whatever of this I can into meteor shot. There we go. Come on, there we go. Alright. And once again, we are going to work on sorting stuff. There's going to be a lot of that this episode. Something else that I found while I was out was I actually got two strange plants. Strange plant, strange plant. So let's take a look at what these do. Purple ooze. Doesn't add any particle effects or anything, just makes me purple. And Shadow Day. I think this is actually the one that I like. No, there's something else. So, both those dies were kind of useless, but... Well, oh well. Okay. Next thing we are going to do... Ah, yeah. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to go and find... some floating islands. We are going to use this to do so. It's actually a rather ideal thing because this allows us to do this. And as you can see on our mini-map, we just kind of go back and forth until we find something. I think it also cancels out fall damage. In fact, I might not be going high enough. No, that was definitely high enough. Okay. Let's just I'll just keep checking this and eventually uh hopefully we'll find something, huh? Found one guys. Although this isn't what I was hoping for, dang it. Although it is nice to know that this is here, because this will help us with fishing later. And yes, I am gonna do fishing, but I'll be fast forwarding through all of that. At least that gives us an area for them to be in. Found another one. And it's another lake. Dang it, why? Stop giving me lakes. I want actual, I want actual ones. Just dang it. Oh, just in time. That fall damage was bad though. Come on. Oh. Sorry. Sorry if that was loud. That was probably unusually loud and unnecessary. No golden horse, no horseshoe. And the one that I managed to get my hands on. How far did we go, by the way? Siri? You've got to be serious. That whole way... Okay, okay, I just need to calm down. Still, that really sucks that whole way and we only found one. I even ended up using two stinking potions. Okay, well, I'm taking everything in here. <sighs> Alright. Now we are back home. And we don't have much to show for it. Well, at least let's show off this Star Fury, shall we? There we go. One weapon rack. There we go. And then... 
I can put these two in there for use later. Oh. Can't forget these. And we'll have it sort the rest of our stuff. That one's full, so this die goes in there. Alright, well, I guess that I'm going to head the other way and see if I can find a spot with the ore in the ground that looks like it might be a place, and then I'll go up. I'll let you guys know if I find anything. Uh, guys, I had to teleport back home for a second, and I found a gold bunny. I don't know what to do with it. It's shiny. Um, okay. Nope, I got nothing. Uh, that was a waste of a once-in-a-lifetime gold bunny, I assume, because I've never seen one before. <sighs> anyway, I had to go back to the... I had to go back to base to uh, grab some stuff. I ran out of some materials that I needed, mostly wood. So, I'll see you guys again when I find something. <sighs> okay, guys. Finally found one. This one was kind of crazy. Uh, if you guys see that little yellow thing right there... That is the tower that I used, and I actually used rope this time. That tower is where the build limit is. So this whole place is above even the build limit. And oh, thank goodness. Uh, wow, a lucky, lucky horseshoe. Uh, okay. Okay, this... Oh, sorry, this is better. And you'll see what I mean by it's above the build limit because there is a space. I mean, look, you can see I, it says I am in space right now. When I go out here, you'll see. See, see how ah, so many harpies. Go away, harpies. Ah, so much to do. All right, um, we're coming up on the ground, but there's water. I'm going to keep looking, and I will be back in a little bit. Alright, guys. Back again. Harpies are trying to kill me once again. On another island. And once again, it is really high up there. Shiny red balloon. Tungsten. Regen. And recall. Alrighty, let's grab this stuff and... Oh, didn't I grab all that? Oh, I guess not. I thought I said wood all. Must not have. Alright. I'm going to get down from here once again and I will see all of you... I'm going to finish checking uh, or look around some more just to make sure I'm not missing any. And if I don't, I'll find you guys back at the... I'll see you guys back at the base. If not, I will meet you guys there. Alright guys, looks like we found one more. That's three. That's really cool. It's really frustrating before when we didn't find what we needed, but... This is actually really cool. Alright. Just gonna loot all that, because there's nothing new there. And we will be headed home. This is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to That was a lot less aggravating than I thought it was going to be. After all that time work checking out the other side. We don't need... No, we don't need any, either of those shiny red balloons for anything, I don't think. I'll save the precise one. Just a bit of quick sorting here. Oh, my shiny red balloon went in. I want to sell that. Gill's potion, you go in here. And I'm going to need to save that depth meter once again for that item that has an insanely large crafting recipe ingredient thingy. There. There. And Danger Sense Potion goes in there. Hey, Traveling Merchant is here. Again. Cool. We all have something cool for us. Sell that. 
Hello, Willy. My farm. Fez. Diamond ring. No. I don't recognize any of that. Let's grab the uh, life form analyzer. I think that might be something that I need for that really long recipe thing too. Okay. Wow. There really hasn't been much today, has there? Um, you know what? Why? Well, no. Oh no, wait, yeah, we can do that boss fight. Got some vertebrae. And go and talk to Wyatt here. So yeah, a bloody spine. Vicious powder and vertebrae. Alright, let's see about that vicious powder. That should be those vile shrooms, shouldn't it? Did I put those in here? Yeah, vicious shrooms. Okay, and I'm guessing I need a crafting table to make anything with them. Right? Or not. Hey, Wyatt. Can't I make something with these? Yeah, the powder. Oh. Okay, so it's same as making a potion. There we go. There's 30. Alright. I'm gonna go to an altar. And... I'm gonna go to an altar and get us a summoning thing for that boss. For the uh, Cthulhu's brain. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Guys, I am the biggest idiot ever. I got there. Got the blaze spine. Beat the Brain of Cthulhu. Look, I even have a Brain of Cthulhu mask to be wearing. To prove it. I even made the rest of our Crimson Armor. We did a whole th talking thing. And then I realized the recording was off. I feel so stupid. Alright, you know what, guys? I... <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough downs today. I need to stop and just relax for a little bit. Okay. I'll... Ugh. As always, if you guys liked the video, which in this case means enjoyed watching me suffer, please leave a like. At least I'll know that my suffering wasn't for, wasn't for nothing or was for something. If you're interested in seeing more, please uh, subscribe. That way you know when I put out new stuff. Uh, so far, I'm doing this Terraria, Terraria series, Road for the Moon Lord, every other day. I am doing my best to keep to that schedule. Uh, so, hopeful, so, there should be plenty more to come. So, as always, guys, unlike me today, I hope you all had or have a wonderful day. Bye.